What is up guys? Welcome back to another adventure on the bite. Who doesn't like to catch fish in new places, new locations, new waters? In this episode, I'm gonna show you, you know, the list of things that I go through to chase after species I've never chased and, and fish places I've never fished before. Oh buddy. Can you bring me? Yeah, you got a big one on. My vacation revolves around fishing. You know, don't tell my wife that, but it revolves around fishing. I mean, I enjoy enjoying myself on my vacation with my family, but also catching a bunch of fish and fish I've never caught before. But he is a beauty, boys. First and foremost, you could hire a guide. You could save yourself hours of guessing and checking, research, you know, time really. But when it comes to catching fish in new waters, I, I love to do it myself. The hunt, the chase, you know, I feel like that's what we're all here for. But if you want to support the local economy, support the local guides, they're going to put you on fish. Have a day out, get the fish you're after, and call it a day. Or you can stay and watch the rest of this video and learn how I do it without a guide. All right, so step number one is learn your rules, learn your species, you know, learn your regulations. So you go out there and you have a knowledge of, you know, the species that you're going to be catching possibly, what the rules are on retention, on actually catching that fish that you're targeting. You don't want to catch a fish and then find out you're not even allowed to target that species. You know, waterways could be closed. You might not be able to use bait. The fact is, just know before you go. Checking out the fish calendar for, for your destination is huge. You know, it'll tell you exactly when certain species are running, you know, maybe your target species, or maybe you're just gonna go there and wing it and catch whatever's biting. Well, that'll give you a nice list of what's running at that time of the year. Step number two, go buy your local tackle shop. Not only are you gonna be able to get your tackle there and the bait you need, but you're also gonna get a wealth of knowledge. It's just an all around big help. They can tell you if you're gonna be able to get your species that you're after. Holy crap. Everyone is fast right there. Locals that you meet on the water is hands down the most info and knowledge you can ever gain. These people that you meet on the water have probably most likely fished that area their entire life or they've caught fish there before. Meeting new people on the water is the key ingredient to having a successful day on the water, hands down. First fish of the trip right here. Ooh. See what it is. Is that a snook? Snook right off the bat. There is so many different ways to catch fish and have success on the water, but just the smallest detail that you're missing, you know, you're gonna miss those fish and your chances of going home with a picture of your target fish, you know, some monster from your vacation goes down a lot, so. Learn your regulations, learn your species, get all the info you can, just be a sponge and, and, and take it all in. Step number three is what I like to do is I'll get online and I will check the weather, check the waves, check the river levels. Knowing the weather and the water conditions can make or break your day. There is so much info on the internet, including you know wind conditions, uh, weather, river levels, tides, there's even cameras on a lot of jetties. You can get on Google Maps and basically learn the geography or the bank access or different waypoints to mark when you get there. Uh, the maps can tell you a lot of stuff before you even see it in person. So we got ourselves a feast right here. Gonna... So whether you're in the Pacific Northwest or in Southern Florida, checking on all these things before you go just increases your chances of hooking up by a million. Fish on. Fish on, right? Joining Facebook groups or online social media groups um, of spots that you're you're planning on going, and you know, learning from people on there. There's a lot of info to be had on there. Um, a lot of people claim that social media has destroyed fisheries, but no matter how much you frown on social media, um, it's helping a lot of anglers everywhere. And also, you can get on YouTube and probably find channels and/or pages and/or videos of the species you're after as well. Step number four is apply all that knowledge. Get out there, the only way to catch a fish is to get your line wet. So apply all the knowledge that you were given. And when everything comes together, you can go home with a memory of a fish of a lifetime. Look at that Jack Crevel, what a beauty. Listen to the noise he's making. We're gonna get him back in the water and let him go do his thing. 